lethargic sloth here, and it's time to talk about Iceland. Iceland will be represented at Eurovision 2018 by Ari Olafsson with the song, Our Choice. If I had to describe this song in one word, it would be sugary. This song is all sunshine and rainbows and happy neighbors and loving homes and smiles and sugar and hummingbirds in the trees. I mean, this is just a festival of smiles and happiness and joy. Sarcasm. Note it. So what's good about this song? Well, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say he has a competent voice. I'm not saying that I technically enjoy his voice per se, but he has a competent voice. And as far as good things about this song, that's all I have. So what's bad about this song? Well, personally, I don't tune into Eurovision to be lectured either politically nor morally. I'm not saying this is a political song. I'm just saying I don't need a song about morals and ethics. It just is ridiculous to me. Uh, when these songs arrive, I'm usually vehemently opposed to them, and there's no exception here. I don't need to be lectured, I don't need to be told, we need to be nicer to each other. It's just fucking annoying, and that's all I gotta say about that. <laughs> Lyrically speaking, the song is also laughable as well. Here's the chorus. We all have a choice we can make. There's always a choice we can make. I feel like I've said that before. To help and to heal in different ways. Too many are dying in vain. Did they just try to rhyme ways with vain? Together we could ease the pain, if somehow we could ease the pain. So you change together we can ease the pain to if somehow we could ease the pain. It's very repetitive and there's not a lot to this song. It's incredibly simple. Um, yeah, it's just not well written at all. It's repetitive and it's annoying. In every single language, there's a word for love and for blame. Different voices, cultures, and people and places inside were all the same. It sounds like one world globalist bullshit to me. I know it's not a political song. I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying it just does sound like one world love everybody hug a tree globalist bullshit, and if you don't know what globalism is or haven't studied into it, uh, well, you know, maybe I'm red-pilling you a little bit here. We'll see. Uh, personally, I think if people had tougher skin, the world would be a better place. If people wouldn't be so offended by everything, if people could say what they really feel without being censored because some pussy doesn't like what they say, the world could use more logic and common sense. We have too much emotional reaction. Every time somebody gets hurt or killed, we need a thousand new laws to change things, and that never goes well. Look where we're heading as a society in general from a world perspective. The world's getting worse, not because people are unwilling to help like the song suggests. The world is getting worse because people are up in each other's business 24-7. Nobody can do anything for themselves anymore. I am a firm believer that people suck a lot worse than they did 10 years ago. They're less intelligent, they're more dependent, we're turning it into a civilization of parasites overall. You can't even say something on YouTube without the possibility of you getting banned for saying the wrong thing. So this be nice to people bullcrap, it's obnoxious, unnecessary, and annoying. So, one more thing I want to get to before I get on to my ratings, and it's going to be my assessment of his vocal skills. Obviously, he's a good singer, okay, but we all have ideas of what constitutes a great singer, an average singer, and a poor singer. Our ears all hear things differently. So, understand when I say this, I'm just talking about me and how I take this singer personally. If you remember, last year I had a vicious teardown of Brendan Murray from Ireland with Dying to Try. 
I actually softened up on that a little bit. I thought he sounded a little better live than I couldn't stand the studio version. I thought it was awful. So why am I bringing this up? I'm just saying, and I'm not going to be nearly as nasty with this singer as I was last year because, well, I frankly had to eat my words when I heard him live. He actually was a lot better than I thought. Uh, so Ari Olafsson, I actually took the time to go check out some of his videos from, uh, I believe it was the, the Voice of Iceland, and I saw some of that and some of his other stuff. And he's got a very good voice. I have to say he's it's very good. But it's not a voice that me, myself, connects to as much. So I don't enjoy his voice. I recognize he's got a good voice, but I don't personally like the sound of it and the tone. It's a little too high for my tastes uh, in a singer. And so all I'm saying is personally, while I think he's a good singer, and technically I would say he's a phenomenal singer, I don't personally enjoy the voice as much as I should in this instance uh, just because it doesn't appeal to me personally so if you love his voice great I'm just saying that to me personally not so much so I'll get on to the rating so what's my rating of the song well I try not to sensationalize when I'm doing the ratings uh, so I try to be fair, and I try to not do extremes as much, you know, ones and tens are supposed to be hard to obtain. Uh, but in this song's instance, I really don't like it at all. I, I really find it obnoxious and annoying, and sure, it's nice and all this, and moralistic, and I guess I just have a darker soul than that. Uh, so I'm giving it a 2, because from your perspective, you might be like, oh, it's nice, how could you do that? But from my perspective, I'm never going to listen to this again. I mean, I will never, ever play this song after I hear it in the semifinal of Eurovision. So I can be nice, or I can be real. Uh, this is not a song I enjoy, and this is not a song I'm ever going to listen to again. So... Um, I'm going to be just completely out there and open it. For me, it's a two. And he's only getting a two because he's got a competent voice. So maybe come back with a better song and it won't be a two. So is this song a contender or a pretender? <laughs> Again, I mean, every once in a while I ask this question, I have to start laughing. Are you serious? This is as pretender as you can get. I don't know that anybody can take this song seriously. I think there will be people that love his voice and love the moralistic message of the song, but I can't take it seriously. I, I'm just like... I don't listen to music to be lectured or to hear how I should treat people. Uh, I have pretty good morals of how to treat people to begin with. Um, I treat people with respect unless they come at me and then I don't treat them with respect anymore. Uh, I don't need to be sung to about how I should treat people, and you know, nobody listening to the song who treats people bad at the beginning are going to hear a song and change their mind. It usually takes some sort of life experience or discipline or some something to change other than, oh, I hear, heard a warm, lovey-dovey song, and now I'm suddenly a nice person. Yeah, the world doesn't work that way. And this song's just annoying, so I know how I took it when I heard it. This is a pretender. It's not going to qualify. This is probably going to be one of the butt of the joke at Eurovision 2018, I have to imagine. It's just a joke that's not really that funny. The guy's got a nice voice. The song is dog shit. 
Iceland has been interesting at Eurovision, to say the least. Uh, I have to say, 2015, I really enjoyed Maria Olaf's with Unbroken. Um, she got a little nervous for the stage performance, obviously, but I like the song okay. I actually like a lot of her other songs. I started looking them up a while ago, and she came out with some other songs I really enjoyed. Uh, Greta Salome, Hear Them Calling, I think is one of the biggest surprise at non-qualifiers. That was another song by Iceland that, you know, I really enjoyed. I thought she should have qualified and done a lot better. Uh, it's a shame. Uh, Svala with Paper last year, you know, okay song, not my favorite, but kind of right in the middle there, also didn't qualify, and Iceland is definitely not going to qualify this year, so I am just hoping that Iceland can come up with a solution to this problem. Uh, one would be sending better songs, uh, but two out of the last four years, they've sent pretty good songs and still not qualified, so the singers are talented. I'm just trying to think, you know, I hope Iceland does better in the future. It just seems like even when they send good songs, they get average results, so I'm hoping the future changes for you, Iceland. I enjoy the Iceland entry usually. Uh, this year's not one of them, but hopefully in the future. Good luck. Thank you for watching my review of Iceland at Eurovision 2018. Uh, I've got a lot of reviews to get through. It's always a lot harder to do a bad review, but I'm not going to lie. If I don't like a song, I don't like a song. And I didn't like this song, so I try to be real and authentic, and that's what you get. And I'm not going to sugarcoat it when I think a song is bad so yep uh you i hear a song i love you're gonna hear it i hear a song i hate you're gonna hear it so that's what you get from me honesty well i'm gonna continue working so there's more reviews out thank you for watching if you've made it this far congratulations <laughs> for now lethargic sloth out